Well, as 2016 draws to a close, we're discussing the end of this year's and its significant political impact. Joining us now is political blogger David Yankai from the LULAC Political Letter. Great to have you back. Happy to be here. It's great to have you, David. And let's start off with what we have in the year's end for the uh, LULAC political letter. Right. Ever since I started at LULAC about 10 years ago, we've been doing like year-end features. And one of the things that we have is called thing called Moving On, which is like the people who passed away. And we certainly had enough of them. And you had mentioned Carrie Fisher before. And I've been constantly updating because so many like celebrities are dying. It's just been an incredible year. Mm -hmm. And then we have the women we love. And then we have the top international... <laughs> Top national, top state, and top, lo and top local stories. And in past years, you know, you had like a foreign um, government uh, be the top international story. You had a local person be the top story in northeastern Pennsylvania. Well, it turns out that Donald Trump is international, national, state, and local, the top stories. Yeah, he was a huge, you That's know, not even a trifecta. Story. That's a quadfecta. <laughs> yeah, it, it really well. is. Well, and, and speaking of Donald Trump, I mean, you can't talk about Donald Trump in this political season without talking about the media and there's a lot of people that are saying the media is biased what's your take i really don't think the media is biased i think the, the camera doesn't lie in other words like you guys have to report what's actually going on i have to report what's going on i think that the bias comes in from the people who are consuming the media i think you know you have to look at the filter as to you know what you're looking at if you're looking at fox news for like say maybe like three months and then all of a sudden you turn on msnbc well, of course, you're going to see a difference because it's a little bit of a bias. And I think the there's more news than ever before to consume. And I think that the bias is coming from the people who are actually viewing it and believing what they feel they, they'll believe in it. Sure. And speaking of Trump, let's talk about his strategy to win. He didn't have a strategy to win, I don't <laughs> think, until Kellyanne Conway came in after that video was released. And then after he pulled back, so I think that was his strategy. I think the man was surprised, and I think he even said in an interview, in, in an interview that he was surprised that he had won. Yeah. Well, that's pretty apparent with the, the, the rough transition that we're seeing. Well, uh, we always appreciate you here and give us an idea of what's coming up with the LULAC letter. Well, next year we're just going to try to cover the local news, and I think it's going to fail in comparison. But we have some off-year uh, elections coming up in Luzerne and Lackawanna County. That's going to be interesting. And David Yanka, you have much more about Trump and all of the news that's happening in this area and, in, and nationally as well. Where can folks go to read? LULACpoliticalletter.blogspot.com. Wonderful. Great to have you on the show today. Happy to be here. Happy New Year. There you go. Happy New Year to you. Well